Hello everybody and welcome to What's in the Box. Today we are going to be having a look at the Dark Age Irish from Wargames Atlantic. This is a hard plastic kit that is going to give you 40 multi-part figures in 28mm scale. And these guys, I love the look of these. If you are into things like your, uh, your saga, this is a fantastic box to pick up because you get tons upon tons upon tons of options. Now, all the sprues that come in the box are identical. So I only need to show you uh, this one right here. Uh, so let's start working through our sprue. So we've got some small shields on here. We've got some swords, some axes, some irons. We've got a little dude with a drinking horn. We are Irish. Uh, we've got some slingers. We've got shillelaghs. Now these are interesting. So for anyone out there who does not know what a shillelagh is, it is a fighting stick from Northern Ireland. These things hurt whenever they hit you. It's basically a blackthorn branch with a big knob of wood on the end to crack you upside the skull. Good times. Uh, moving along, we've got some large shields on here. Uh, we've got a couple of Irish wolfhounds on here, which I quite like. So you've got some dogs, we like dogs. Uh, we've got our main bodies. We've got a little shield with a couple of spears here. We've got a cape on here. And if we flip around to the other side, we've got another four bodies on here. So you're gonna make six guys off the sprue and two dogs. Uh, you've then got another cape on here. We've got some spears on here, some more small shields, some more swords here. We've got all the head options down along the bottom here. And you do get quite a few different options. Ram skull, because you know, we stick those on the odd time. Uh, we've got a sax on here, another small shield and a scabbard on here as well. Uh, I think, yep, there is also a scabbard with the sword in here and we've got an oval shield here one thing i didn't show you is we've got one more fancy shield on here that's probably for your headman let's have a look at the minis okay so our first guy here uh nice shaven headed with a little goatee kind of like the look of that uh, is rocking around with that little shield with the the spears and the spears itself nice detail pretty crisp the the build for these was super simple they do have that little uh, base tab for the feet but that's not a huge issue to deal with if you want to clip it off uh, our next guy is a guy wielding one of those shillelaghs uh, not even kidding if you get lumped with one of those they are going to hurt i also gave him a big shield just to actually see how it looked and it's quite nice if you like doing some freehand work pretty cool. Uh, he's also bare chested. Uh, one of the things I will note is some of the miniatures have a ball joint on the weapon arm socket. Uh, so just watch out for that whenever you're building them. Uh, we then have another guy here. Uh, again, one of the ones with that ball socket joint uh, carrying a spear and that nice big oval shield as well. Uh, if you're looking for some transfers for these guys, uh, Little Big Man is definitely a good shout. Uh, around the back, you can see he's actually got a little sax tucked into his uh, waistband there. Next up, we have the leader of the pack. So we've got our, well, our headman. He's wearing a cape. He's a little more fancy. We put the scabbard on there, that nice fancy shield on there. And I did pick out quite a nice sword for him as well. Uh, the cape's actually quite interesting for the way that it actually attaches. So you pop it on to the shoulders and then the head goes on top and the fit is really quite good, but it is an optional piece and I like having options. Uh, our next guy, he is basically rocking around very angry with uh, an ax. I think I may have misposed the arm on this one ever slightly, but that's me being dumb and not building it the right way. Uh, our last human in the box, I decided to have an affluent guy who was quite angry, uh, but he had just picked up a rock to throw at your head. <laughs> there is an arm with a rock on the sprue. When I discovered that, I was more than a little amused. Uh, our last thing is our puppies. So we've got a couple of Irish wolfhounds in here running forward to basically bite the ankles of any of the Romans or anyone else that these guys might have faced. It's a nice little thing to have is just these dogs because you can get units of dogs. Uh, that is the Dark Age Irish from War Games Atlantic. Uh, if you like them, drop your comments in below. Tell me what games you might use them for. I'll move on. I'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.